Hey guys, some of you guys who have watched my previous video or heard my brief podcast, you may know me as the fishing guy. Well, today I'd like to talk to you about another matter that is near and dear to me as someone who spends a great deal of time by the water. And that would be the topic of keeping our oceans clean. I was doing some reading on the subject and came across an article from National Geographic and found a startling statistic that said that around 8 million tons of plastic alone is dumped in the ocean every year. To put that in perspective, this article said that is equal to about five grocery bags per foot of coastline around the globe. Not only does that make our coastlines dirty and polluted, but rather dangerous for the creatures that live in the oceans that we pollute. You might ask yourself, how does this affect me? And why should I be concerned by it? I have a few reasons for that. First off, we have somehow become the top of our food chain and has established a civilization on every continent on this planet. Sometimes when I watch the news, I wonder how we accomplish that. But with that, we've created a sense of moral responsibility for how we impact the world around us. This little tidbit of information really got me thinking about some subjects of morality that ties pretty well into the golden rule that I like to live by. You know, do unto others as you would have them do to you. To give you an example of what I mean by this context is this. Imagine that you are at home watching your favorite TV show and you get a little bit hungry. You get up, you go over to the cabinet, and you will have a nice bag of chips just sitting there. You reach your hand in the bag because you know they're chips and you eat them. However, somebody mixed miniature Walmart blasting bags and Jolly Rancher wrappers in there and you go ahead and swallow a few of those. As an individual, a person, I wouldn't be happy with whoever did that. Unfortunately, other creatures don't have that same luxury and can't walk over to you and whack you upside the head. The ocean creatures will mistake our waste products for food in the ordinary diet and consume them. Sometimes they might live and sometimes they might choke and die. Sea turtles are a primary example of this with plastic bags. They will mistake bags for jellyfish and go about the same process I just described and have a high chance at dying. Same thing with wrappers, straws, and all those little items we see as harmless can ultimately be harmful down there. There are often groups that do their best to clean up coastlines and oceans. Some of the highlights I found on the web are Ocean Conservancy, Surf Rider Foundation, Oceana, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, Greenpeace, and so many more. People are already out there making a difference and I feel that we can join them in that cause. Maybe not full time, but as citizens, we can passively make a difference by how we conduct ourselves by the water. Rather than contribute to the trash production, take a bag with you to pick up bags you find. Whenever I go to one of my fishing spots, regardless of where in the United States I am, I always manage to find at least one piece of trash floating in the water, resting by the shore somewhere in that area. If reachable, do my best to pick it out of the water. And I would ask you or you know, implore you to do your best to do the same. Make life a little bit better for ourselves and underwater friends, both now and in the future, when more people realize what small impacts we'll have in large numbers, we'll start making a lot more of a difference. And thank you for watching my video. And I hope you'll join us in making life a little bit better out there for everybody.